All right, so big lines and bike setup is what we're gonna cover today. And here's kind of a generic bike setup that I've been using. This is, I think this one's a little easier to use. Uh, we will cut to another one that I have. And you can try that one too. That one I crashed a lot more with, but I don't know, I just feel like I can maneuver the bike a lot easier with the Nick setup. And I usually use the medium gear ratio transmission. Occasionally I'll change that and I do change it for some of these lines, but for the most part, the medium seems to work pretty pretty decent for me. Also, disclaimer, there's probably a lot of other big lines that you guys know of. If you do, let me know in the comments. These are just some that I've found playing the game. So we're going to jump into this starting with Anaheim 1. All right, so here we are at A1. Here's a, it's a quad. Here's a quad single. Not an amazing line. Not all these lines are going to be the most difficult ones to, to hit, but they're for me personally difficult sometimes. And then here's a quad single also at a1 but I don't really like this line because it it messes me up for this usually you can triple triple onto that table and then step off and that's a much better line than what I took so it's just there bigger line if you hadn't hit it yet this is Glendale this triple quad triple double is insane that that triple right there it's weird because you just don't get the lift so you kind of clip on the way out I think you can probably get it cleanly but you know it's just it's not something I can do every single lap so Big line there. This is Oakland. This quad quad single is pretty awesome. But again, it's kind of like Glendale where sometimes you're getting the lift off that first one and then sometimes you don't. So just one of those really inconsistent lines for me. But nonetheless, one of those big faster lines, which is pretty sweet. This is Arlington, I think. That triple's not so bad. It's that triple in the middle because I kind of clip and I kind of do a wheel tap and then triple, triple out. It's a big line, and it's one that I don't get very often. I don't get that one. I mean, a lot of times I'll do a race and not even get that line. It's just I struggle with it. I don't know why. It's just I struggle. And then trying to time that triple in the middle because, for me at least, I just don't get lift off that jump. So I'm wheel tapping in the middle kind of. But it's a lot faster than the alternative. And then this quad double from Minnesota is sick. It's not that hard to get, but I don't get it every lap. So... Felt like that was a bigger line to show you if you weren't aware of it. And then we are still in Minnesota and we're going to quad this, which isn't that hard. But before I was stepping on, stepping off, and it felt so slow. And it felt like you had too much lift off that jump. Well, that's why, because they intended for you to quad it. This is Atlanta. And that triple, triple, triple is weird. It just feels really weird. It's not terribly easy to get. And it just... It felt weird, but that's a bigger line. That's not how I usually go through there because I usually can't hit that. Here's Daytona. We're going to drop a five. Five. Uh, what is that? A quintuple? I think someone said that. A quintuple. We're going to drop a quintuple there. And then we're still we're going to stay at Daytona. And at the end, there's a dragon's back where you can triple off that dragon's back. And I've never, I've never actually done that. And when I was doing this video, I did it. I was like, oh, it's there. It's not like a hard line to get, but I've never... Like I said, I've never done it, so I figured let's just throw that in there if you didn't know about it, just in case you didn't. And then we are going to St. Louis, and this this line's awesome. This triple up onto this table, and the only way I can do it is if I jump off the track there, but it doesn't reset you. It gives you time, so you can do it, and that's the only way I can do it. If you can do it without jumping off the track, let me know because I can't, and I'm not really great at the game, so I have to cheat and jump off the track, but it doesn't reset you, which is kind of cool, so... It's an option. Here is Seattle. We're going to go triple, quad, double. Not really hard, but I don't know. Sometimes it just, you just don't get the lift that you need. You just feels kind of flat. So thought we'd throw that one in there. And then we're going to finish off at Salt Lake with uh, triple, quad, double, double, I think, or something like that, which was kind of an awkward line for me to get. And I use different gear ratios in all these lines. So you'll have to try them out and see what works best for you. But that's the lines that I know of. It's not all of them. It's just some that I'm aware of. If you weren't aware, that's why we made this video so you could see it. But you guys and girls are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for the support on the channel lately. It really does mean a lot. And until the next video, take it easy.